but people do seem to get very passionate about parking, don't they? It's funny, isn't it? I don't know, because as you know, I took myself off the road years ago because I'm such a bad driver, so I don't <laughs> have this issue. But um, Nanny Thelma, you know, in her lovely little bungalow, hasn't had a car in, like, 15 years. She would always... But, and because it was quite near the beach, people would come and park on her road, but park on the opposite side of the road to her drive, and you'd hear her going, da, da, there's someone parked opposite our drive. You go and see them, da. So <laughs> Nanny Di, Mark's mum, rush out, still do it, rush out, start berating whoever it was in the car. If there was nobody there, she'd leave <laughs> uh, stickers and notes. Not all blocking over. the drive Oh, not blocking the drive. It's the opposite side of the road. But <laughs> what if she wanted to pull out of the drive in a long vehicle? Did she have instance? a long no, vehicle? No, she doesn't have a car. Yeah, and, and would not have a long vehicle anyway. How is she going to swing the long vehicle round <coughs> when there's a car on the opposite side of the road to her drive? And, and the whole family would take this up and I'd be sitting there going, why are they all so gross? But you can't reason with them. No. It's well, territorial, um, isn't it, yeah, I think? Yeah, totally. Parking I mean, space I'm, is your right somehow. Yeah, I get in the right state. I've, I actually am quite a regular sight outside my house in my pyjamas. Yeah. So I'm like that. If someone parks outside my house, when the minute they move, I'm like, go and get my keys, move, move the car in front of the house. And Gary's going, what, what in your pyjamas? You? Yeah. But what happens if by the time you come back, that space has been filled and you've then got to go and park someone else well, and come back? And that happens, yeah. yeah. I remember I used to go through that when I lived in London. You'd look outside because you really want your parking space outside yeah, the front. Yeah. Um, and you'd wait and wait and wait. And then you'd dart out and go and get the car, which last night you'd had to park two blocks yeah. away. Go and get it and then park in. And once you've got the parking space outside your own front door, no way you're ever going to take a journey in that car no. again. So you yeah. walk the kids to school, yep. you come back from the supermarket with tons of shopping by hand because you're not going to move your car because you've got your parking space. We've, yeah. uh, we've, we've got, got our friends to know. Yeah. It doesn't matter where we are, does it? She cycles. And we say, God, you've cycled again so much. I can if I leave, if I use my car, the space will be gone by the time yes. I get home. We've done jobs in Kent where Simone has cycled <laughs> rather than move her car. But she's paying tax and insurance on a car she never drives in case she loses her yeah. space.